transfer student is the type of guy everyone has their eye on. Yes, those guys that suddenly appear out of nowhere, steal the whole show, get all the girls and make everyone feel like side characters. At first glance they look like regular normies, but once they get into the action, there is no way they are gonna stop. So if you love watching the overpowered protagonist kicking everyone ass, grab your popcorn and enjoy the prime time. We kickstart our list with Magical Warfare, in the world where magic users coexist, living along with a normal human, keeping their true identity hidden. Like Harry Potter and all, RMC Takeshi Nanose is a regular high school boy, unaware of such a world. One day on his way to kendo practice, he meets an unknown girl unconscious, decided to rescue her. The girl named Mueba upon gaining consciousness, she reveals her magic school secret, made a deal with RMC to take along with her. Now Takeshi joins Subaru Magic Academy, where his life changed after meeting a female magician. It's a fresh new start for RMC's new life. The story is pretty mediocre, mainly due to a bad execution. It will be a fun experience if you are looking for a non branic show. Number 9 UQ Holder When your grandpa said he had a girl for you, then by no means he was referring to his own girl. Although the series is not highly dependent on his prequel, still there are few references you can easily get away with. While the rest of the world is discovering magic, RMC Taudakano was living peacefully in his small town. Enjoy the peaceful time with his teacher. That all changes when an assassin tries to kill him. Later RMC discovers he is immortal. Together with his teacher they embark on a journey to a secret valley, where MC meets other people like his called UQ Holder, trained MC to become stronger like his grandfather, though magic is the main key point of the show. However with great visuals and overwhelming fan service, shows proved to be an enjoyable watch. Number 8 God Eater Earlier before the attack on Titan was the thing. God Eater is an anime that provides the true definition of how CGI was done right, based on the PSP game by the same name. Revolves around the year of 2071, when humanity has fallen prey to a newly discovered life form, to the brink of extinction following the emergence of man-eating monsters called Aragami. This substance consisting of oracle cells begins to consume the planet. These cells combine to form monstrous creatures hard to deal with by a normal human. But, there is a small ray of hope. A group of scientists have worked to create the weapon known as God Arcs and the people worthy enough to use them as God Eater. If you are in for a story this entry is not for you. However if you want to try something new to a visually appealing level, this is a perfect fit for that. Number 7 Myriad Colors Phantom World Not gonna lie, the art style is pretty unique. If you're into animation stuff, what more can you ask for? M A Sekai I mean waifus in an all-white school animation. Still don't get it. Let me explain. Spirits or ghosts known as phantoms were only superstitions that adults used to scare children. That was until a virus infected everyone's brain and the nightmare became a reality. However, that tragedy also gave birth to a particular generation of students with extraordinary abilities. In our MC Haruhiko and his friend Mai has the ability to seal and summon phantoms using weird drawings. While Mai can combine elemental powers and martial arts to defeat them, together, they form the Teamy of the Hosea Academy. If you are having trouble handling evil spirits make sure to contact them. Number 6 Little Witch Academia If you love watching cute girls doing cute things, this entry is for you. Kagari Atsuko, also known as Akko is a normal girl, who joins Luna Nova Academy, a prestigious witch academy for girls, inspired by her idol's shiny chariot. However, Akko does not come from a line of witches, which makes things harder for her to get into the academy. With a tough mindset, she throws herself into studies and somehow gets into a Luna Star Academy. Things are much harder than she thought they would be. She was given her idol's shiny rod and a task to attain the seven ancient, magical words. Now she is in for the magical adventure of her life. Never forget the motto magic is what you believe in. If you are into the story then I would say try watching the movies, as it will give a better picture of it. Number 5 Luck and Logic When the cherry blossoms have begun to fall, the peaceful time of spring holidays has begun, where a naive and innocent Princess Lyonis Yelistratova from the remote country has been sent to attend a school in Hokkaido as a transfer student. 
the school happens to be a specialized educational institution operated by ALCA that exists to train logicalists, the guardians who maintain world peace. Lyonis joins Year 1, Class S where she meets various people with different personalities and makes many new friends including Nina, a logicalist. Now our female lead will start their lively and cute days together as logicalists, based on a card game theme. The show started on a good note. However, due to poor storytelling, the show gets boring midway, but somehow ended up getting a second season. Number 4 The Irregular at Magic High, a series taking place in a prestigious elite school, where magic is now a systematized technology that can be taught as technical skill in the 21st century, the first high school institution for magicians. However, here students are divided into two groups, based on their high school entrance exam, where top students with great magical potential have been given many special privileges, whereas the rest are put into another course, in which our MC Tatsuya and his little sister enroll into the school. In the first course Miyuki passed with flying colors and was put into a group of top-ranked magicians. On the other hand our MC found to have no potential whatsoever has rank in lowest compartment, but the extraordinary technical skills, combat abilities and other unique magic techniques is something that cannot be measured by any tool made MC special than others. The hugely popular shonen title of 2020, Jujutsu Kaisen has made it to our list. Honestly by the time everyone has heard about it and patiently been waiting for season 2. It all started with a bang. On the first episode we get to see the reverse Kakashi aka Gojo teaching some manners to the evil spirit. Based on all various types of cursed things, our MC Yuji was living a normal life, until he crossed the path of a cursed object. After losing his grandpa, life of our MC changed completely. He encounters deadly demons. Worst of all meets the king of cursed Sukuna. Later he learned more about the cursed energy and set on a journey. With the friends he trusts and a sensei who is undoubtedly the strongest, people may compare it with Naruto or any other shonen title. However, taking inspiration is not bad, unless you are not copying the homework completely. How can we complete the list of overpowered transfer students? Without mentioning the misfit of a Demon King Academy, our MC literally killed someone using his heartbeat. Who does that? Ain't no way I'm gonna fight him, unless I'm a fan of Goku. Our MC Anos Valdegode is not your ordinary transfer student. After sacrificing his life for world peace, he reincarnated himself a few thousand years in the future. Within the month he became a fully grown man, got into the school academy where he showed his overpowered strength. It was quite the flex on his opponent not gonna lie. And let's not forget the fact you are dealing with a demon lord. Nothing like a quick checkup, where all his battles lead to one-sided guaranteed win from the start. I would say the show was pretty badass. Last on we have Tenju Tenj. High school is the representation of a new start, enjoying the new school vibe, making new friends. But what if I tell you Tenju Tenj is none of that? Here students don't learn how to be polite, but they preferred talking with their fists. While the concept of a martial arts high school may be ridiculous and not all that original. However the story focuses on the concept of stronger being always on top of the food chain. Where our MC Suikairo Nagi and his best friend, Bob Makahara, entered the Taudu Academy with the sole purpose of becoming the strongest people in the school. Unfortunately MC's dream was instantly crushed by his seniors. So he decided to join the Juken Club and receive proper martial arts training by becoming the strongest fighter of the school. If you are a 90s anime fan and love watching shows like Dragon Ball, then you should definitely need to watch this. Transfer students are always the center of attention, so if you love watching them, I hope with this list you find something to put into your watch list. If you did then make sure to let me know in the comments section below or anything else in general, just to make the YouTube algorithm work. And if you enjoy the video don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Till next time, it's goodbye for now, peace.